DeAndre, first off, uh, just your thoughts on the win tonight. Uh, it seemed like a real team effort. Yes, it really was a team effort. Um, you know, honestly, this road trip been pretty long. Um, you know, we've been sticking together, uh, keeping the motto of togetherness, and you know, just being with the young guys and learning more about them, finishing off strong with them in the season, and you know, just knowing that we can still compete in this league and not really letting anything deflate us or the record deflate us. We're working on us. 34 points for you tonight. Uh, 13 rebounds, well, double double. Uh, what kind of rhythm are you in right now? It seems like particularly your your jumper right now is is dialed in. I mean, I uh, pretty much figured it out. Um, you know, especially my guys knowing where I like the ball and things like that. You know, coaches and, uh, making a huge emphasis on where where I need to get the ball and you know just scoot and my rest of my point guards and my guards. You know, doing there and listening and being coachable. You know, attacking the paint and getting me open. You know, tonight I feel like put up a lot of shots and you know that was thanks to them just you know creating for me uh you, you talk about the the guard play as well how is that that chemistry with scoot and with delano forming no, it's fun you know um from where it started to where it is now like i'm just waiting for the season is you know what i'm saying just to really get the new juices going off season it's going to be scary what they work on this summer and you know what they got to bring into the new season but shoot we're seeing glimpses of it right now you know scoot's being extremely poised in certain situations of the game, no matter the momentum. And, you know, he's just really taking over. You know, tonight we've seen him do a huge play on just, you know, just saying, hey, put the team on my back and this is the play I believe in. And he did it and he accomplished and took his own. Uh, what do you think about the way you guys executed late in the game? Uh, you know, because that, you know, for a young team, sometimes that is an issue. Tonight you guys were able to, to write it out. Most definitely. And, you know, it started with those passes, the passes, uh, sharing the ball and just, you know, playing defense, you know, um, you know, all that led in rhythm, you know, Scoot and the, guy, uh, the rest of the guards just, you know, crashing, making uh, second effort plays, you know, keeping the ball alive when we thought it was going to be turnovers and things like that, um, getting extra possessions, just uh, just by effort plays. And, you know, in the fourth quarter, you know, everything really started to slow down because those effort plays made the game, you know, so relaxed, you know, um, getting all the jitters out your, out your system. Uh, coming out the half was pretty rough as well. We didn't have a good start out of of the second half and you know coach got on us and that really woke us up so we stood we stayed neutral the whole night and you know um that's really how we ended the game you know slowly and you know that's that's what we wanted we end the game on our terms wanted on our terms you, you mentioned being on the road trip and it has been a long trip and you know particularly at the end of the season you guys know you're not going to the playoffs like how hard is it to kind of keep that motivation keep that energy up when you're on a trip this long yeah like i say um we're just working on us you know, um, we're not even really thinking about none of that stuff right now. We know what happened this year. You know the type of obstacles we went through, you know, to you not know, even have that opportunity or a chance. But at the same time, you know, there's a lot of young dudes out here that got to know a lot of basketball. And, you know, we ain't got time for no, oh, we got to make playoffs. No, we, we trying to work on us so we can, so there won't be no question next year on making the playoffs. Uh, more broadly, too, how would you say your first season has gone? I mean, not over just yet, but but getting close. There's about a week left in the season. I had a lot of fun. I, I feel like I'm a complete different player from where I was, especially when I was with the Suns. Um, I feel like I'm a more, way more dominant player on both ends of the floor, more of a leader. And I feel like these dudes really respect me, and I respect them the same way. And so does the staff and the coaching staff. You know, I really feel like, you know, I'm a part of this program, this part of this franchise, you know, and, you know, you guys trust me, so... I really feel like I take that in the games with me. And that's really why, you know, I've been playing the way I've been playing. I've had all of this, it's just, you know, everything's in hands, mentally. You mentioned your teammates too, and you're a guy I've noticed, you, you always put it back on your teammates and, and compliment them and talk about their growth. Can you talk about that and why that's important to you? I mean, mainly that's how I was, that's what things I was looking for when I was younger as a, as a young, young player coming in. You know, just somebody to have their arms around me and just, you know, be on me, good and bad. But, you know, and that's what I'm, I'm filling in those blanks for them. You know, just making sure I'm locked in and, you know, just not focus on me and, you know, everything got to be me. It's just really about them. And that's why I'm here, you know, to really compliment Scoot and Shaden and just really lock in and, you know, be a part of this puzzle that we're trying to create.